Hello, welcome to my channel. This week I will be talking about how you can recover from permanently deleted files on Windows. If when you delete a file on Windows, it goes to recycle bin and you can restore the file back to the folder to where it was deleted from in your uh, program. Now, if you go to recycle bin and empty the recycle bin, the files will be permanently deleted. Now, when you have a file, you can't find your file again, or your file is permanently deleted, how can you recover? Now, there are also situations you work on a file, all of a sudden you didn't see it again, either from your hard disk, either from your flash drive, your external disk, or maybe even on your mobile phone, and you didn't see the file again. How can you recover from such file? How can you bring back the file back to your Windows environment? Stay on with me. What you can do is follow me on the social media platform or go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to this channel so that every time we put up a video, you will be the first to know. These are actions that you need to take in order to be able to continue to benefit from our free lessons and solutions. So we're going to do a bit of introduction to Dick's mechanism. Uh, we'll make it as elementary as possible and how uh, you can recover data. Basically, we'll be looking at your desktop, we'll be looking at your laptop. And of course, inside the desktop or a laptop, you have uh, a hard disk where the data is stored. So we'll be looking at the hard disk, how you can recover data from your hard disk. We'll be looking at other um, disk um, uh, sources such as a flash drive, and of course the external hard disk that you basically will plug to your computer we want to see we like to uh, you know go through it see if you uh, lose data how you can recover data from it and finally we'll be looking at how you can recover data from mobile phone uh, let's look at this uh, mechanism and, and how it works uh, and the reasons you may not be able to recover your files again even though you go through the process that i'm going to show to you now, for example, here I have a 500 gigabyte hard disk. Hard disk is divided into a compartment, little, little compartment, a storage space. That's what I mean. Um, for example, here I have file A that is being stored in compartment A, file B being stored in compartment B, uh, file C being stored uh, in a cell's location called C. And here you see file D. Uh, which is a file, file D uh, document was deleted. What the operating system does is to declare that space in the hard disk free. And then the arrows also is point, that are pointing between the file and the space location are called references. So you in a recycled bin, uh, in the, your desktop or your laptop, you notice that you have a recycled bin. Every time you delete a file from your desktop, it goes to the recycle bin. What Windows does, your predecessor does, is to tempor temporarily um, uh, suspend the reference to the document. And when once a reference uh, is suspended uh, between a cell location and the hard disk and the file name which the window holds, uh, you will not be able to see that file again, even though inside the hard disk the file still exists. So once you delete a file. In, on your desktop, it goes to recycle bin. Now in recycle bin, you can actually ask the computer, you can go there and ask the, uh, the uh, operating system to restore back the file to you. What your operating system basically do is to restore back the link so you are able to see the file and see the location. Now this is what happens when you delete, a file is permanently deleted. A permanently deleted file is a file that is deleted from the desktop or your folder and then is also deleted from the recycle bin. There are some that go straight to the recycle bin and you can recover, and there are files also that you uh, that is deleted that you may not even find in the recycle bin. So, as if you look at these two places, uh, the recycle bin you can't find your file in the folder you kept, you cannot find it. Now, this is what happened. You then have to use the process we're going to show to you to recover the file, but again. What we're saying here is that there are 50-50 chances that uh, you may recover the file. The chance that you have 100% chance of uh, recovering your file is if file D, look at file D here on my left, marked with red. If file D was permanently deleted, 
what the operating system does is to declare that space break the reference and declare that space free now if you save a new file before you begin to look for a way to recover the file for example if you look at the right here you have a new excel file t if you save a new file t into the same hard disk you the operating system has an algorithm for locating uh, free space and write file uh, 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 locating free space and write the files into so chances may be that when file d document was deleted the operating system may locate that space for new excel file t and if that happens you may not be able to recover file d again or uh, it's 50 50 uh, percent chances that file d may be recovered so it's usually um, advisable that once you notice that you have mistakenly deleted your file, you cannot find it in the recycle bin, you need to download the software I'm going to show to you. It's a free software. You don't need to pay for it. Uh, leave it in your machine. And then you need to use, go through this process that we're going to show to you and recover the files immediately. When files, you lost the file and you make an attempt to recover the file there are there is there is 100% chance of recovering the file but if you keep um, working on the computer uh, saving document to the computer the chances are that you may have overwritten the space that the deleted files left and if that happens you may not be able to recover the file or the chances are like uh, that it would be 50 50 percent of recovering the lost file so the first thing you need to do is to get a software that will enable you to be able to recover your file. Uh, so what I'll do here is to give you uh, a free software uh, in which you can use to do that. So go to www.ccleaner.com slash recover slash bio to download a free software. So here you have uh, two downloads. Uh, you have Recover Installer and you also have Recover Portable. Please download Recover Portable. And then uh, after the download, uh, you uh, extract, you double click on the downloaded file. It's going to extract some files for you and then you install that on your PC. Now, see you in the classroom. Okay, so let's now actually show how you can use a Recover to recover files that were deleted. Now, um, I have some pictures here um, in this folder. Uh, I can't find picture 125, 126, 127, and 128. Uh, perhaps also deliberately, uh, besides the ones that I have not found, uh, let me also del deliberately delete these uh, ones. So 129 is also deleted. Um, 130 is deleted. 131 is deleted. Now remember, I have a folder in HP uh, Tools, uh, my pictures, that's where my pictures are. And then I, I didn't see about four pictures and I've also deleted like three pictures. Now let's do a practical demonstration how we can use Recover to, re uh, to recover these files. So you open the folder Recover, remember this folder that I told you about, uh, RC Setup 153. Uh, which was downloaded a free software you can use to recover your deleted files so let's go you, uh, you we, we fire up the uh, software mm -hmm. wait a minute okay so you say now when this come up in recover you can say do not show this again so next time you run it, it's not going to show yeah if you take this so um, next now you tell recover what and what you need to deliver picture files for instance i'm interested in everything i've not seen in that folder so i'm going to leave this or if it's only picture that you're trying to uh, recover so you you can select pictures uh, is it was it a music file that you didn't find and you have a music file so you can actually narrow the search of what you want to recover but i want to leave it at all files uh, all the files that i've not seen or maybe accidentally deleted I like to see if I can recover it. Okay, so next. Now, you have to specify the folder. Otherwise, the search will become so wide. You have to uh, specify the folder that you need 
to or the uh, the way your file was if you had a folder in my document uh, in which you usually uh, keep your files and you didn't find a file or maybe in a recycled bin recycled bin are files that are deleted and are kept uh, temporarily uh, in windows uh, which you can recover but we're trying to recover files that were permanently deleted so um, I want to specify a, a folder uh, in which I had the, the files. So uh, I browse, and now I want to go to my H uh, tools, yeah, HP tools for the purposes of this uh, demonstration or training. So this is my folder, my picture folder. This is where I kept all my picture. I want Recover to focus and bring all the files back to me or make an attempt to de uh, recover all the files that were deleted the ones that i did not see and the ones that i intentionally deleted for the purposes of this training so here we go next now you have an option here if you do uh, try to recover a file and you didn't uh, and it was not successful you can actually do a deep uh, scan uh, deep scan will take much much more longer time than uh, the process we're running now so I don't want to take it because it's going to take a lot of time. So I say search. We're back. Recover is back. Now you see these were the files that I didn't see. Uh, 125, 126, 127, uh, 128. Now remember I intentionally also deleted 129, 130, and 131. Recover had been able to recover the files for me. But let's do a little bit of explanation here. Now. If you notice that the files that Recover had seen that were deleted, they are in colors. Some are in red and some are in green. And in some situation, we have a, an orange uh, color. Now, if you scroll, um, if you scroll, you see the stories that are written uh, uh, about it here. Just look at, go to the comment. This file is overwritten. Remember what we told you before? If you delete a file, or a file is deleted from your laptop, from your PC, maybe from your phone as well. You can actually recover the file. But the deleted file, um, the link of the deleted file is broken. So what Recover does is to try to re you know, re-establish the link, the references, so that you can get the file. But when you delete a file, a space is created, when it's permanently deleted. And then uh, the operating system can use uh, it's an algorithm to overwrite in the space. When that happens, you may not be able to recover the file again. So here it tells me that this is overwritten. But Recover, even though it's overwritten, it's still going to make an attempt to see if you could recover this file. Um, uh, what's the number of the file? 125. Now, the ones that are green are good to go. These ones will be 100%. There are 100% chances of uh, you know, recovering this file. Now, if you look at the 129, 130, and 131, uh, is overwritten by another process. So we select all the pictures. I need to recover them and then recover. Remember I told you that uh, for the purposes of not overwriting the space in which these files were deleted, it is always advisable that you recover a file into external drive. So on my computer here, I have external drive G. So I'm going to look for a folder to recover the, those files into so I can go into that folder. In my um, external drive here, I have uh, a folder created co uh, called 2019 working files. And under it, I have recovered files. I just created a folder called recovered files. You can actually cite that uh, folder. Let me open. Let's go to that folder. A minute. Um, so I go to my external drive. I want to see what is there, just to make sure it's empty. So I go to 2019, and I go to working files, and then recovered files. So I have absolutely nothing here. I'm going to make an attempt. I'm going to ask Recover to recover all the files, those files, those pictures, to this folder. So recovery has started. Now, uh, Recover... Uh, here you have a report of the files that have been recovered. Um, total number of files recovered is seven, uh, seven files. Fully recovered is three. Partly recovered is four. Partly recovered, you may be lucky. The files is intact. 
you may be unlocking the files you can see the file but the content has been destroyed so let's see how uh, let's uh, actually look at that folder again let's go to the external drive and then um, let me go to my g okay 2019 this is a this is a way i recovered the files too so we have the files that have been recovered so one two five one two six one two seven have been recovered one two eight one two so all the files have been recovered and if i try to open the file wow so this it recovered the file but it's been destroyed the 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 content has been destroyed so this one you couldn't get this one two five so one two six is good to go one two um seven is good but one two five has been permanently destroyed the space there has been overwritten by another file so you couldn't uh, get it back for us okay so all the files so um just go to my channel and subscribe uh, so that when we bring uh, lessons and free training on um, how to use a uh, system computer, you'll be the first to know. Subscribe to our channel, go to the bell there, uh, where you're subscribing to our channel, and click on notification. You'll be automatically notif uh, notified when we drop the next series of this uh, lesson. Thank you so much for uh, being with us on this channel at this moment. Thank you. Was this lesson helpful? Please share the link with at least 10 persons. That will qualify you to be part of our next free lesson and tips. Now to introduce a uh, topic we're going to uh, share with you next week. We already, it's already in production. A lot of people have flash drive and external uh, disk drive. When you uh, slot it into your system, uh, the system will tell, or your computer will tell you that the flash drive uh, is not accessible and then you a number of people have important file and it's not accessible next week we're going to bring to you lesson how you can overcome that and get back at your file meanwhile in 2018 uh, was a very good year for us we released three big packages into the market we developed three big uh, packages first was the first release was a uh, school accounting software if you're running a school or you know someone that runs a school we have an accounting package just designed for school now the next thing that another big application that we released in 2018 is a POS payment assurance a lot of people we've made publication if you go and type a POS encouraging fraud in Nigeria you will see a video that we have made this is a big fraud PO is a big fraud the accounting behind the screen uh, elderly people and people that are not educated even educated people will find it difficult uh, to follow so we've developed an application a software that will help you uh, do assurance for you that every payment that goes through your POS the bank uh, pays you for it make sure that your account is credited for every payment that you receive from your client and then the another big software we released in 2018 was the daily business analyzer for those who are running small and medium uh, enterprise we've released a package to help you put your business together a number of business fell in the past because they wouldn't have they didn't have a way of uh, uh, knowing and measuring the activity of the business now you can't run a business as if the way business was done in 1960 1970 1980 this is information age get a software to run your small business it may be you may look at it as if it's going to take a lot of cost from you but never when you look at what you lose through backdoor what you lose through financial leakages the cost of getting a software to run your business will be more profitable now for you to continue to benefit or be part of our discussion please subscribe to this youtube channel now or you can uh, go to my Facebook and follow me on the Facebook or you can follow me on Instagram or maybe you can tweet at me I have a blog I've opened purposely for this if you have a question about any of the lessons that we have uh, posted out there please just feel free go and put the question I will answer members of my team will answer and any other person can answer your question 
thank you god bless and i'll see you next week with another interesting lesson inability of computer or laptop to read flash drive we will solve that problem for you thank you and god bless please don't forget subscribe to our youtube channel